Welcome to Beyond Sunday with Pastor Nick Williams. South Shore Community Church exists to help all people find and follow Jesus. Join us weekly as we talk through current sermons, theology, parenting issues, and how to have a gospel-centered marriage. We are praying that today's message helps you grow closer to Jesus. Now, here's your host, Pastor Nick. Welcome back to Beyond Sunday, where for this series, we are exploring the principles of leadership and personal growth through John Maxwell's 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership. Today, we're diving into the fourth law, the law of navigation. This law states that anyone can steer the ship, but it takes a leader to chart the course. Let's unpack what this means for our leadership journey and how we can apply it to our lives and organizations. In my own leadership experience, I've learned the importance of not just steering the ship, but also charting the course. Whether in ministry, business, or personal life, effective navigation has been crucial to achieving success and overcoming challenges. I remember early in my career, I often reacted to situations as they arose without a clear plan. It wasn't until I began to understand the value of proactive planning and reflective thinking that I saw significant improvements in my leadership effectiveness. The law of navigation emphasizes that good leaders function as navigators who plan the course to achieve success. They don't just react to situations, but proactively chart a path forward. Maxwell explains that the navigators do the following. First is draw on past experience. Reflective thinking allows leaders to learn from past successes and failures. It's about taking the time to evaluate what has worked and what hasn't, and then apply these lessons to future plans. Number two, examine the conditions. Before making commitments, effective leaders assess the current environment. This involves understanding the challenges and opportunities that lie ahead and prepare accordingly. Number three, listen to others. Leaders value the input of their team and advisors. They gather diverse perspectives to make informed decisions. Number four, balance faith and fact. Good navigators balance optimism and realism. They have the ability to dream big while being grounded in reality, ensuring their plans are both visionary and practical. Maxwell quotes Jack Welch, former CEO of General Electric, who said, a good leader remains focused. Controlling your direction is better than being controlled by it. This means that as leaders, we must be proactive in setting our direction rather than letting circumstances dictate our path. Proverbs 16.9 says, in their hearts, humans plan their course but the Lord establishes their steps. This verse reminds us that while we must plan and navigate, ultimately we seek guidance and wisdom from God to establish our steps. Consider Nehemiah, who demonstrated the law of navigation when he led the rebuilding of Jerusalem walls. Nehemiah didn't just react to the situation. He planned meticulously, assessed the condition, gathered resources, and led his team through significant challenges to achieve their goal. His ability to navigate the complexities of the task was instrumental in their success. John Maxwell said, anyone can steer the ship, but it takes a leader to chart the course. This quote encapsulates the essence of the law of navigation. Another insightful quote is from Peter Drucker, the best way to predict the future is to create it. This highlights the proactive nature of effective leadership. Imagine for a moment a pilot flying a plane. While many people can be taught to fly, it takes an experienced pilot to navigate through storms, unexpected turbulence, and ensure the plane reaches its destination safely. I don't know about you, but this sounds important to me. This ability to navigate is what distinguishes great leaders from others. Consider for a moment Winston Churchill. During World War II, he navigated Britain through some of its darkest days with strategic planning, resilience, and an unwavering vision. Churchill drew on past experiences, assessed the current conditions, and listened to his advisors, ensuring his conclusions balanced both faith and fact. In his book, Maxwell Maxwell shares a story about a business leader who, rather than reacting to market changes, spent time each week reflecting on past performance, gathering insights from his team and planning future strategies. This proactive approach allowed his company to navigate through economic downturns successfully and emerge stronger. I'm a pastor, I'm in the church world, and I've seen it happen over and over again where churches over themselves 
and they have to react rather than living in a planning phase and understanding what is coming in order to prepare for. Now, uh, in this journey, I want to give you some application and some takeaways. So let's talk uh, very briefly on how you and I can apply the law of navigation to our own leadership journey. Five steps. Number one, reflect weekly. Set aside time each week to reflect on your experiences and write down lessons learned. This reflective thinking will help you draw on past experiences and make better decisions. In writing it down, it'll allow you to have a resource as you navigate future situations to look back on and realize how you survived some of your past moments. Number two, do your homework. Before creating a plan of action, draw on your past experiences, ask questions, and have key conversations with your team. Understand the current conditions thoroughly to make informed decisions. Number three, balance faith and fact. Good navigators balance optimism and realism. Identify which way you lean and ensure you have a trusted team member who leans the opposite way to provide balance. This ensures that your plans are visionary, yet also practical. Number four, proactive planning. Control your direction by being proactive in your planning. Chart the course rather than react to the circumstances. This involves setting clear goals, anticipating potential challenges, and developing strategies to overcome them. Number five, learn from failures and successes. Reflect on both your success and your failures. Each experience provides valuable lessons that can guide your future decisions. Don't just focus on what went wrong. Also analyze what went right and why it went right. Remember, effective navigation is about more than just vision casting. It's about determining what it will take to fulfill that vision and prepare for potential challenges along the way. Leaders who navigate ensure that their team stays on course and reaches their destination successfully. Today, we explored the law of navigation and how proactive planning and balancing optimism with realism are crucial for effective leadership. Understanding and applying this law can transform the way you lead and navigate your organization through challenges. Now, I want to encourage you to join us next time as we dive into the fifth law, the law of addition. I promise you, you don't want to miss it. Thank you for listening. If you've enjoyed today's episode, please subscribe, leave a review, share it with a friend. Until next time, keep growing and leading with purpose. Thank you for tuning in to Beyond Sunday. We hope the conversations and insights shared here have brought you encouragement and have deepened your journey of faith. If today's episode has inspired you, we invite you to follow or subscribe to our podcast so you never miss an opportunity to grow closer to Jesus alongside us. Don't forget to share this podcast with friends and family who might be blessed by it too. Until next time, thanks for joining us and may God bless you abundantly.